I know when a lot of the characters or actors first join the show, they get pranked. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering if when you first joined the show, Jared Jensen like gave you a really hard time or something like that. Well, you know, no, they did not. I and I don't know if at first I thought well, everyone's like, did they prank you? And I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, they must not like you. <laughs> so like every time I come to set, I'd be like, nothing. <laughs> uh, but the the last episode I did, um, we were in a really intense scene and. and uh, you know, I'm getting to know the boys on a professional level. I say, I know them personally, but on a professional level, you try to figure out how each other's works. And at this point, I forgot about the, the pranks that they've pulled over the years. I just dropped it. The first episode, I was paranoid. Like, that first episode I did, like, if you guys noticed my acting, I'm like... <laughs> and everyone's like, look at Cole's, like, deep in thought. I'm like, no, I'm Travis. I'm waiting for something to happen to him. Um, but, uh... The last episode, I'm walking to the car, and it was an intense scene, and, and all of a sudden I feel this hand, not just a pinch, <laughs> on my rear, it's like a real deep grab. <laughs> it moved, like, deep. <laughs> so as I'm like walking around, it's the first time I like really kind of got to, because sh you shoot out of order, so the first time I got to the, uh, the Impala, to Baby, which I know you guys all love that car. <laughs> I walk around, all of a sudden I look at them and I'm all in the moment, I'm like, all right guys, let's go. And all of a sudden this hand reaches up. And I'm like, oh. And there's, you know, there's Jared, he's like. And they're filming it. And I look and there's this big old camera and I'm like, I'm like, we're not using that. Like, that's, not, that's not how we're adapting my character. Is, is this really a TV show? <laughs> like, jump into some odd. So yeah, that, that, I think J Jared grabbing my took us. Very nice. I guess the funniest part was if you guys watched the LARPing episode where... Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Um, and there was a, a scene where we're in the tent where I'm going, um, all this dialogue about the map, uh, which is really fun. And, and then I turn to uh, and Sam, or uh, Jared, uh, Jared is, uh, is talking, and, and it, it was a close-up on me and Jensen, and he was saying just like, and Balsack, and, I mean, just like, <laughs> it was like, he was doing his line, and he was just like, Tourette's and like, some, and, and just some, like, weird, weird phrase, like, you know, it was dirty, but then not, and just, and we, and I was like, don't, don't mess up, you're a guest job. Don't mess up. So I was like, <laughs> of me just trying to hold in the laughter because he was trying to make us break. And of course, he, Jensen's like so professional, like it's just 100%. I don't care what he's saying there. And I... Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst. I'm the worst. Anyway, so super funny. So just like the funniest guys I've ever worked with. So yeah, they're awesome. Uh, the other day, uh, I was doing a scene. Um, were you there? I don't know. Was someone laughing hysterically in the no, background? No, no, no. <laughs> then no, I wasn't. Um, it was it was myself and and Jim Beaver and Sebastian, and uh, it was my coverage going this way into the panic room. And oh, I was there. I was watching from behind. Yeah, and yeah. Jared, Jared sneaked up, like was crawled like, on his hands and knees, so he wouldn't be in behind a hand, me. A hand comes. Comes up, Jensen's not. No, yeah, he was like and this, and, and, and Jensen <laughs> didn't crack at all. Rock solid. And Sebastian, Seba hard. I'm looking Rock at Sebastian. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at Sebastian, and he's just like this. <laughs> and I'm still, I'm right here. And this, the grip gets tighter and tighter. And until like I, I hear like tendons popping right here, and then finally Sebastian was so red in the face from trying to contain himself. We then we all started laughing, and I kicked her in the face. Um, the biggest thing was the the, the frying pan thing. Um, I've told the story before, but they had this. 20 pound cast iron frying pan and then a, a fake rubber one and they asked me which one I wanted I, I said give me the real one 
of course. And so we were doing the rehearsals, I was hanging out with the director, and Jared was just like playing around with the iron pen, like the frying pan in the background for like 20 minutes while I was talking to the director. At the end of it, he just tosses it at me, and like my heart drops, and I'm just like trying to catch it. I'm like, you're gonna ruin the set. <laughs> and then I catch it, and it's, it's, the, uh, it's the rubber one. And he starts laughing and laughing. And, and the sad thing is, he spent 20 minutes setting that up. <laughs> like, this is, this is all I do. I just find time and things to, to mess around with. He was like, you know, he's made very sure that I was watching him, and when I looked away, he would like, he would switch it off. And yeah, that's, uh, I mean, I didn't give it to him. He's dedicated. <laughs> yeah, but apart from that, no, usually they leave me alone pretty, pretty good. Me should. I think he's the one that they, they like to pick on the most. So, so usually when I'm there, I just kind of watch them fight. And, and just chill out, wait for them to finish. Um, yeah, no, I, you know, uh, Jared um, enjoys making me suffer while we shoot, so we'll do his coverage uh, with the camera on him, and he will um, be acting against, a, you know, a really uh, generous... Act, scene partner, myself, um, mm -hmm. and uh, it'll go off without a hitch, and then we turn the cameras around, and their cameras are on me, and right below frame, he'll be, for instance, fondling my balls. <laughs> um, so, uh, it becomes very difficult I'm to never give, gonna get that image out of my to head. To give the kind of nuanced performance that, um, that you're after, because all I'm thinking is, uh, you know, don't laugh, and don't do that. Um, so that's pretty much that's the the atmosphere in which I don't know why I'm, I've gotten up and started. I think I, I get uncomfortable every balls. time I talk about that. Um, um, my question is: aside from not bursting out laughing at Jared, um, what has been your biggest acting challenge so far? On so working with Jared. Um, <laughs> Actually, to be honest with you, I think that they're writing fewer scenes with the two of us together. As you, if you look at the progression of, uh, since I joined the show, it used to be Misha and Jared did a lot of scenes together. Not so much anymore. It's usually like, all right, um, I'm gonna run to the store to get some beer, says Sam, and then Dean and Cass discuss something. Um, whereas it used to be, Sam was part of the discussion as well, and uh, I think that the studio realized that's just costing us too much. And over time, for the so, uh, we'll send Sam for beer. Um, I've told this story before. You wonder about it on camera. I'm going to tell it again. Because I can't um, There's a scene where um, it was season, I don't know, whatever. And you know the one. And, uh, and I would come up to, um, I had to come up to the table and say something very serious and Castielli. And, uh, and, uh, the big guy was on the other side of the table, and the other guy, other big guy was next to him. And Jared was, every time I came up to the table, delivered this very serious statement, he'd reach under the table and do a little, little, little. <laughs> And so I, would, I, of course, laughed several times, and then I came up and I was like, this, and he screwed up the shot, so I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> and then, uh, and he was actually reaching under with like a broom handle. <laughs> and then they took the broom handle away from him. <laughs> And it was late at night, and it's been going on for a long time, and finally Jared Jensen, who's sort of like on my side a lot of times, because Jared is just wants to sabotage me as much as possible, Jensen said, Misha, don't, don't even say the line to him. Just stop looking at him. Don't even look at him. Don't look at him. Don't, look at just me. look. You know what? I got an idea. Just look at me. Look at me. Focus on me. Right. Stop looking at Jared. He's just going to mess with you. He's going to, he's right. going right. to, he's going to grab your, or Thank he's going to, you know, just stop. Thank just you. Just look at me. Okay. And I was like, thank God. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. From now on, I'm always going to deliver all of my lines, even if they're like scripted to Sam. Like, hey, Sam. Um, I'll say it to the other character, because there's a way to justify that. So I was like, this is going to work. I walk up, uh, say my line, very serious, to um, Jensen, who goes. And blew me this like very sexy kiss, and uh, <laughs> and I felt like someone had just popped my life raft. Like, <laughs> it's all over now. It was this 
in this amazing moment where he, he took me, this wounded, I basically, like, you were, you were... bird, this wounded animal, and he said, uh, to come with me, I will care for you. And then he crushed me. It's horrible. It's a really a horrible experience. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. He's too easy. It's just, you know, it's just like a, it's like a little puppy. You just, you just bat him around and, you know, and it's kick him a little. Yeah. Jared likes to throw him against the wall. Yeah. I, I tend to just bat him around and then okay. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little story about what happened recently. One of my favorite set. stories to not tell. Yeah. So. Um, Maybe you should, while, while, we're, while I'm telling the story, will you, will you go ahead and uh, make up one of your uh, prized, um, one of your prized flying machines? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. So, uh, there we are, shooting uh, the show about Supernatural. Um, in, in what, what, what did we call that, the war room? Yeah, but you should give the preamble of like what, ha what had happened that day. All right. Yeah. Um, I, I'm gonna go on record as saying this was probably Misha's most difficult day on the set of Supernatural in his tenure there. Um, Jared and, and myself <laughs> were horrible uh, fucking human beings. It's a bit strong. But kind of accurate. But accurate. Um, yeah, we. It was. It was. Uh, it was so much on the pranking end. And by pranking, I lose. The, I use that term loosely. It's. It's more of just messing with him uh, on a on a constant basis. Um, anyway, it it got to the point. <laughs> it got. To, it got to the point. It got to the point where people drove over from the studio to watch on the monitors while they made me lose my shit. <laughs> it was like, everybody was like, Misha, I, that, I'm really sorry that happened to you. I have to say, it was kind of funny, but I'm really sorry. It got to the point, it was so bad. The next day, he apologized. apologized. <laughs> That's how bad it got. And like an honest, serious, like, hey man, I actually went home last night and thought about, it was, that was a little messed up, I'm sorry. That was, you, that's, that was uncool. I can't promise that it's not gonna happen again. Um, but, you know, I just, I wanted to apologize. That was, that was really unfair. Um, that being said, Jared and I were really messing with it. It got so bad to where the camera guy who was operating the camera on his shoulder like this on Misha's coverage, while I'm standing right here. <laughs> I don't know if I should tell this. Um, yeah, you should. Okay, uh, well, let's just say, Let's just say that he got into it, and un while the shoot, was, while it was happening, and just reached down and undid his zipper and was going, <laughs> while holding the camera and shooting his close up, and he was just like, "Really, Rosie? You too? Come on!" So anyway, as the day went on and Misha's frustration on, began to build on. and build and build and really get to a point that it was it was becoming kind of uncomfortable on set. Um, and I will blame most of this on Jared because he does he really doesn't gauge when he's had he doesn't I could see that he was getting fed up. Could he you was, could you because I couldn't see that you could see. <laughs> I'm an actor. Um, but Jared just kept going and he, if he's still going, uh, well, yeah. who am I to stand by and not enjoy it? So anyway, it got to the point where Misha was just like so frustrated and he walks over and he spends some time by himself and he gets up and in like a rage he takes this paper airplane I, I finally had my chance to get back at those motherfuckers so and here we come they had out. a little bit where they were getting they had they, the camera was just on them yeah and so i got a paper airplane and i went like this <laughs> As we're, and do it, yeah, right, like literally, we're probably this far away, and he goes, you mother, <laughs> there was so much, there was so much I have to say, at the end of the day, I feel like I kind of won. I got him, I got him with that paper airplane dive bomb, that was, 
That was retaliation right down the pipe. Um, yeah, that was, a, that was a good day. You'll see it on the gag reel. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, we recently had John Adam directing an episode of Supernatural, um, and he is a very uh, well-established, story, famous, uh, seasoned director. He, he did War Games and Short Circuit and Saturday Night Fever, um, he's, and he's awesome. He's a great, great guy. Um, but we were um, doing the usual, just talking <laughs> with each other during takes while he was directing, and he came out and just looked at us. <laughs> and he looked at us with so much discipline. <laughs> you are, you call yourselves professional actors. <laughs> Look at you, it's pathetic. And we both were like, oh. <laughs> sorry Mr. Brown, sorry sir, sorry. And then we were better behaved after that for over an hour. There was on a moment, like really early on, I think it was season season eight, episode two, that was my fourth episode, and that was the episode where I was spraying um, at the water gun and I was shooting Jensen Jig. And, uh, and so I was holding the water gun, obviously, you know, they wanted it so bad. <laughs> but the props person told me, like, do not give it to Jensen Jig. <laughs> so like, okay, all right. <laughs> I don't know who to listen to, but sure. <laughs> and there was a moment where I think we did, you know, I just sprayed him in the face and then everyone's laughing. And I don't know how well you guys know the crew, but um, there's this one of the camera guys, his name is Brad. And he's the guy that they always make fun of. And Brad takes it like a champ. Um, and so all of a sudden they're like, Shoot Brad in the nuts. Shoot. And like, and both of them like, God, dude, shoot, shoot Brad in the nuts. Shoot Brad in the nuts. And I'm, and I'm like, God, should I, should I shoot him in the nuts? <laughs> You're like, Dory, he's wearing rubber pants. I mean, obviously, he wasn't wearing rubber pants. And, and then I looked over at the props person, and, and she's like, Yeah, just shoot him in the nuts. <laughs> but then I look, I look at Brad's face, and he's like, it's like, please don't be another one of them. <laughs> And so that was like, that was the moment of truth, and I'm like, you know what, I won't be one of them. <laughs> and, like, and so I didn't shoot him in the nuts. And then Jared grabs the gun and shoots him in the nuts. <laughs> but it, it was at that moment that I made the decision, I'm like, okay, you know what, they, they waste enough time as it is. Like, they can't have, like, everybody doing that. So I'm like, you know what, when I come on set, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do what no one else is doing and, and be a professional. <laughs>